In order to merge these different graphic sources and create a composite image, we need to create a container called a composition. To create a new composition that will also appear in the project panel, click on the Create Composition button at the top left. Now you can see it in the project panel. This composition is automatically connected to the viewer. Unlike previous connections, the name of this composition is written in white and has a white frame. In a previous video, we showed you that double-clicking on an imported element in the project panel displays the name of the element in orange and it'll have an orange frame. This orange color indicates that the element displayed is not a composition, but an element imported in the project panel. So the orange color is meant to make you aware of that. It's possible to view an imported element from the project panel while working on the content of a composition in the timeline. Nothing would be updated visually since this composition isn't connected to the viewer that lets you see the results. There are three ways to reconnect the composition to the viewer. The first and quickest way is to just double click on the composition in the project panel. You can also right click on the composition in the project panel and select to show it in the viewer's main view. Or you can click on the name at the top of the viewer to display the list of all available compositions. Take some time to practice these connection and disconnection methods so that it becomes more natural to you. If you have a lot of compositions in your project, you can use the search bar to filter this list and easily find a specific composition. When you connect a composition to the viewer, there is a white frame that appears around it. This is the composition format, and the pixels outside of this frame won't be calculated. Let's go back to our analogy of a hamburger and camera. We can compare the composition format to the boundaries of a photograph frame where the image outside of the photo isn't captured. You can change the format by selecting the composition in the project panel, which will display all of the composition parameters in the properties panel on the right. The purpose of the properties panel is to display all parameters of the item that's currently selected, whether it is selected in the project panel or any other panel. So for example, if we select the image of the basketball in the project panel, we can see that the properties panel now displays all of the parameters related to this image's reader. Double click on an element to display it in the viewer. The properties panel will display the parameters of this reader. The reader's purpose is to read the file on the hard drive and output a bunch of pixels. The reader has many parameters that determine these output pixels, even before they're used in a composition. If you double click on the composition, its content will be displayed in the viewer, and its properties will be displayed in the properties panel. The format is the first parameter on this list. If you click on this parameter, a list with several autograph presets will appear. Simply hovering over the options on the list shows previews of the different formats dynamically without you having to select a particular format to see it in the viewer. The composition format is also visible at the bottom left of the viewer. If you go back to the list of presets, you'll see that changing this format also changes the format at the bottom left of the viewer. You'll find this interactive update in many of Autograph's menus. For example, when inspecting a specific channel or selecting a font while editing text. We'll show you how much time this can save a little later. Unlike many other graphic design software applications, the format of a composition in Autograph is just an initial format. Later we'll show you how it can be changed at any time when using this composition. If you ever have to create a variant of a composition, you don't have to duplicate it. This is particularly useful for creating responsive design type compositions 
that have content that adapts to the format, which means you can produce multiple formats with a single project. For now, keep in mind that the content of the Properties panel will change depending on the current selection. Click on the different elements in the Project panel to see their parameters appear in the Properties panel. In the case of a static image, there are no parameters for setting the number of frames per second. If you select the QuickTime animation net.mov, this time there's a parameter for managing the number of frames per second. If you can't find a parameter, it means that the element you've selected doesn't have it. Compositions, on the other hand, have other types of parameters. Let's take this opportunity to change the composition frame rate to 30 frames per second. In this video, we went over how to create a composition, connect it to a viewer, and edit its parameters using the Properties panel.